Good morning. My name is Kinga Garstka and I am a PhD student in the Faculty of Chemistry at the University of Wrocław. I work in the Biologically Active Metallopeptides group and my supervisors are Dr. Magdalena rowinska Żyrek and Professor Maurizio Remelni. Now I started the second year of my education and my work focuses on different metal ion transport systems present in pathogen cells. The last two months I spent at the University of Ferrara within the short term scientific missions and my work focuses on zinc binding sites in SNU A and AZTC proteins from Paracoccus denitrificans. As we well know, the introduction of antibiotics to treatment has made it possible to reduce the incidence of many diseases. But we also know that the golden age of antibiotics is over. Therefore, we need to introduce innovative antibacterial treatments and one of the new therapeutic possibilities is the use of specific treatments based on metal ion transport systems because metal ions like zinc are essential nutrients for all organisms. The most prevalent in relation to pathogen virulence is the ATP binding cassette transporter family. ATP binding cassette contains three components the SNU A periplasmic zinc binding protein that captures zinc and delivers them to the SNU B component, the SNU B membrane protein which transports zinc across the cytoplasmic membrane and the SNU-C ATPS that provides energy to metal ion transport across the membrane. Paracoccus denitrificans and cause two zinc ABC transporter systems and the AZTC and SNU-A proteins differ in the length but also in the composition of histidine-rich flexible lobe. We choose probably zinc binding regions in these proteins and the chosen regions are highlighted at the top of the presentation. These ligands were characterized on the basis of the results obtained with the potentiometry and UVV spectroscopy. The most important conclusions from the research are following. All ligands form complexes with the zinc and nickel ions. On the presentation, I show you also the condensation modes. And now I want to say that zinc and nickel complexes formed by the longest ligand are most stable. In the nickel complexes with the shortest one, octahedral geometry is observed and for zinc complexes, so-called polymorphic binding sites, where the zinc ion binding residues change. This short-term scientific missions has brought to my research and to my life not only these very interesting results and allowed to acquire new knowledge, but also give me the possibility of working in another research team the opportunity to meet new people and make new friends and this trip gave me also the possibility to experience a new culture and language. Thank you for your kind attention and once again thank you for the possibility to continue my education as a part of Nectar Cost Action.